नमस्ते नमस्कार प्रणाम गिव्स मी ग्रेट प्लेजर टू बी हियर ऑल दो वडोदरा is one of my favorite cities where i've come i think since decades but this is a very special occasion indeed because uh, i think parul university has uh, selected chosen the path of our great rishis our great seers the indic tradition believes that the totality of life consists of equal balance between the arts and the science equal balance between what you call spiritual and the sacred and the mundane equal balance between mini and mega and equal balance between the feminine and masculine principles which create cosmos the universe life as we know it mane maaf karjo mar english ma bolvu pade chhe hu gujarati ma hu gujarati an chu okay hello પણ અહીંયા બહારના ઘણા છે વિદ્યાર્થીઓ અને ફેકલ્ટી સો ફોર ધેર બેનિફિટ ફોર આર ગેસ્ટ ફ્રોમ અબ્રોડ આઈ સ્પીક ઇન ઇંગ્લિશ આઈ વોઝ બોર્ન ઇન બોમ્બે બિફોર ઇન્ડિપેન્ડન્સ ઇન્ડિયાઝ ઇન્ડિપેન્ડન્સ દેટ મેક્સ મી અ ડાયનોસોર but not an i saw i did not my family that's my paternal uh grandfather my father's father my father my mother they all participated in the independence struggle and uh from the very childhood we saw we met we played in the laps of the likes of gandhi ji and uh, dr rajan prasad raj gopalachari sardar patel was like elder brother to my grandfather the loha purush and i hope that our friends from abroad uh, will visit the statue of unity the grand uh, encomium homage to sardar patel who really is responsible for the india that you see today and uh, from the age of 7 i we were lucky i and my elder sister that we came back to bombay from uh, nagpur where and father was the first governor one among five governors then saroj kini naidu my grandfather sir akbar hyderi raja maharaj singh and ani and uh, so bharatanatyam dance started music classical music sitar painting a gujarati medium school in bombay where english was introduced only in the ninth standard gujarati medium school and my gujarati is so perfect and beautiful i'm very proud to say that that even amit bhai narendra bhai say tamaru gujarati bahut saras che par maru gujarati lakhan pa pe u che moti na dana jeva ma rakshar che aaje par and i write to modi ji in gujarati so growing up elphinstone college german literature honors with gujarati subsidiary the point that i want to make is that dance remained alongside everything 
that somehow dance remained in my blood in my consciousness and subconscious so when the time came for my aranketram you know the debut recital a solo recital of the dancer in bharatanatyam and by then i was learning in bangalore from the wonderful gurus professor us krishna rao and his wife chandra bhaga devi who were contemporary to rukmini devi arundel and learned from the same master pandanalur minakshi sundaram pillai so i carry that pandanalur style forward which is so grand majestic geometrical and uh, wherever i performed in the world because solo dance tradition is unique to india alone i've seen classical ballets of the west i've met ula nova i've met maya pieces kaya i've danced in the bolshoi theater in moscow twice solo with my musicians there in that cavernous bolshoi the legendary bolshoi so what we do through our dance is to create our own space because indian classical dance traditional dance as i said spiritual the spirituality lives within and we create our space from within outside it is not we don't allow the outside environment to affect us we create our own space the space becomes elastic so bolshoi became like my palm of my hand and we create we have no settings no grand technique technology nothing but we create situations characters stories episodes we paint and we design the space and people see things happening this is the magic of this art so for that uh, arangetram i was doing double uh, shift of my rehearsals and all morning and evening grandfather was governor and as we used to be you know in our traditional families we always inform the elders dada ji hu jaun chu ba hu jaun chu you know i'm going for this for that i'll be back at that time i went to inform him in his office governor's office the chief minister sitting there the finance minister sitting there and he said suddenly he erupted he said why again you went in the morning what's all this go back to your room i'll talk to you later my god what's that i was so stunned but i went out sat in the car drove to my guru's house sent the car back and i wept i would not go back the car came twice then the adc came the secretary to governor came i refused to go and then my grandfather sent a message that i will come so then my guru said this is too much come on come on sonia they drove me in the little car into raj bhavan and grandfather sitting there my mother sitting there it was a terrible situation but i learned satyagraha from my family so i did not speak to them i went to my room shut the doors for two days i didn't open the doors i didn't eat nothing i didn't ask for water the third morning dada ji knocked and knocked and knocked and said you know i don't want to get the doors broken i want to talk to you so i allowed him in and he made me sit down and like a, he he explained to me why he had this eruption something clicked in his head the story of degradation destitution of our great artistic traditions during the mogal times and the british times by law dances in temples was uh, banned the gurus were scattered 
it was called prostitution and my grandfather said i i i can't bear that i gave him the example of rukmini devi and said you know she is our guest very often she is a family friend and uh, uh, if she has danced and earned respect all over the world you must allow me to continue do my rangitram i want to share with you the two promises that it took from me that day and i stuck to those two promises all my life one i will never compromise self respect two i will not make dance my business so the result is that even today i don't i have no property in india or anywhere i live in rented apartments all my life but i poured my money earned from my dance into creating an institution this is the 45th year of my institution and that's where i teach bharatanatyam odissi classical music and yoga sanskrit shlokas and of course uh, talks and lectures seminars festivals all that happens uh not compromising self respect is also a huge proposition you know in life one goes through so many one navigates so many situations meets so many people and i have been in public domain ever since 1962 61 was my arangetram from 62 i started performing publicly 1963 i finished my bachelor of arts 1964 i danced in delhi for the first time and i was made much of as the great uh, new star on the horizon at that time indrani rahman yamini krishnamurthy the names that my indian friends will recognize they were all dancing and in 1965 i got married to a, a foreign service a gentleman from odisha went abroad for two years danced all over europe in germany for example in france and spain in belgium in uh, netherlands and poland and uh, not poland was of course at the at that time with the ussr so self respect never compromising also resulted in my being called arrogant difficult temperamental and i accept it all <laughs> i accept it because bhai ja ja ta lallu bada ave ni sathe apne badi baat karvani hoy apne pan karu ke nahi we we have to maintain a certain dignity a certain equilibrium a certain balance and uh, if that is called arrogant so great but then that has reached me where i am today i have not compromised an iota of my vichar dhara my thoughts my beliefs my concept and what is my concept as you heard for me dance is supreme why because every moment that you live all of you you breathe the breath goes in and the breath comes out and that is the dance of prana that is the circular ras dance the blood flows through my veins i can see i can hear i can taste i can talk i can move why is that 
as a dancer, you don't take anything for granted. Why? I met with a terrible auto car accident in Germany in 1974 on the Autobahn from Nuremberg to uh, Bayreuth, which was at that time East Germany, Czechoslovakia, and West Germany, the Triangle, and Bayreuth, where the Wagner Festival took place every year, International Wagner Festival. I was teaching for three weeks there. I've taught there four times. Uh, they, at night, the Beatle Volkswagen at that time didn't have the safety belt, and the Beatle Volkswagen has the dickey in front, which was empty, because we had only gone for the day to Nuremberg to see uh, the museum and meet with friends. And a deer ran across the wooded area, forested area. It was raining like it's raining today. And my German fiance braked by the time I had separated and divorced my foreign service husband. I couldn't take that foreign service. Yes, sir, no, sir, three bags full, sir, I can't do that. So, uh, and the door opened. I was thrown out about 15 feet away on the Macadam Road. I passed out. I had broken my vertebra. I had broken four ribs and broken my collarbones and what, whatever else. So, the German, I was taken to a hospital. They debated them there. I was shifted to Erlangen, the specialty hospitals. The doctors all said, we put the steel rod, that's the only option. But they had to ask the patient's permission. And I was in a rucksack on the foam, not even a proper bed, on foam because of the broken back. And I, they all whispered in my ears, that in steel rod operation, are you okay with it? Something like that. And I said, what made me say no? I don't know. But then they said the second option, we give her the uh, gips, that is the uh, plaster cast. And at that time, the technology or the uh, uh, medicine was not so uh, medical science, the treatment was not so advanced as today. So like that, the tables, on one table, my chin, my whole back like a bridge hanging, and my knees and the legs on the other. And like that, they were wrapping me around and wanting me to scream if it pained, they should know. I was white, but I didn't scream. That was the dance. And tears ran down. Char kilo ka gips laga mujhe idhar se idhar tak. Gips yane plaster cast. And they said that she may walk normally again after two years, never be able to dance again. Just imagine. And uh, on the 14th day, they said, well, we've done what we could. The rest is in the hands of. Uh, chiropractor, orthopedic surgeon, whoever you want to consult. So I was taken on a flight to Montreal where my German fiancé was there. Now I come to the point where spirituality interweaves, where the mission which you are given in a lifetime intervenes. And uh, very, very famous chiropractor who had seen me dance in Montreal. He heard about it. He came from his summer holiday. He looked at me and he says, let's see what I can do. He brought his x-ray machines. He made x-rays. He sent them to Germany. They had consultations. And he took over in 11 months, he put me back on my dancing feet. Wow. 
it was uh, it was uh, something when after uh, uh, cutting through the plaster cast and exercises back breaking exercises i was crying all the time i didn't want to cry but they were so mending the back now can you imagine that the vertebra has discs can you this and the uh the the cord runs through the vertebral cord my 12th disc completely gone chura powder so 11th and 13th are hanging by the distance of a hair with the vertebral cord and uh, he said doesn't matter we'll see don't worry after 11 months he said go home two months i give you dance don't lift heavy don't do this don't do that but come back so i came back in 1975 my first performance in bombay sitara devi perform before me because she wanted to see, uh, see me uh, perform perform dance at the end she came took off her black thread from her apne apne to samajh gaye she we understand the significance of the black thread and she tied it around my neck and she says samjho chho na buri nazar se bacho that may no bad eye evil eye strike you ever so after two months of back performances i went back to montreal he made new x-rays and he literally left in air he said suda you made history and he explained the x-ray and he showed me and gerog that a new bone had grown between the 13th and the 11th vertebra like a bridge he said he, he said he's going to carry and he did carry my x-rays all around the world in conferences and shows he said you demand from nature nature provides i demanded from god if i have to live i have to dance otherwise i'll take poison threaten you have to threaten the god whoever it is and answers are there so this is the lesson i learned in spirituality that it's not a pill that you take and you become spiritual yoga chakras is good is fine but there has to be guts atma pal here your guts must sing and speak to you and you must be able to listen and you must stick to your path that you have chosen uh, today i'm very happy that uh, so many departments are here and this new faculty is being inaugurated i feel very very honored and privileged to be here for this auspicious occasion because i think this fills the gap between sciences and what you call humanities this is the bridge arts art is for the heart and if there is no heart there is no life so i think this is the bridge that devansh bhai has created kahan se devansh bhai kahan gaya are are oh samne mein sune aiyo aiyo and his family has created this uh, great institution i was not aware of it i must say that i'm very happy that i've come even for a day i have to leave again tomorrow morning and i've extracted a promise from devansh bhai that i'll come back and perform here so i seek the blessings of bhagwati the goddess of dance the goddess of music the goddess of beauty the goddess of power the goddess of strength 
God has so created creation. I seek her blessings. Because without divine blessings and without our humility to seek blessings, nothing is possible. As I tell you, my pride as a great dancer, even at that young age. You know, by the way, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's telegram was the first telegram that came to the hospital in Germany. Keep your chin up, nation prays for you. But in a second, in a moment, I was like a worm, jantu. Right? We don't know what awaits us. So, prayers and blessings become a constant in life. E na hoy, to apri murkata, apro unmad, apro abhiman, apro mad, garva to raja ravan no pan narayo to tu kon. This is how Gujarati Ma Kevatche proverb. So, as a dancer, we learn the utmost humility to bow at the feet of the Guru, at whose feet she or he doesn't matter. We learn knowledge passes to generations. And I am just a teeny weeny link in that great Adi Yogi Shiva Nataraja Devi Nateshwari tradition of the Indian performing arts. Therefore, I bow to you all. And. Uh, <coughs> Bow to Devansh Bhai, his family, Parul Ben, Prabuddha Bhai, Arupa, Aap Sabko. I seek your blessings for myself, for my country, for the world, to live in peace and harmony and beauty, in love, and blessings for this institution to further blossom into a great banyan tree. Thank you so much. <laughs>